go. Hey, New Tech, I am back with another person in the community that you need to know. This is one of our elected officials just reelected to her second term. This is Representative Joyce Mason, one of our state representatives for the 61st district, which is much of the, the northeast uh, quarter of the state. Thanks so much for taking some time to join us, Representative Mason. Thanks for having me. So excited. So uh, politics and politicians have kind of a, well, a lot of stigma but you're, you're a very nice and community oriented and helpful and productive person. So that that's good. Tell us a little bit about what you do as a state representative. Thank you. Um, well, you know, it's interesting because people, there is a very bad image of politicians, but what I like to say is when you're running for office, you're a politician. When you're elected, you're a legislator or a state's person. Um, and so, good people who are elected should represent everyone. They should forget about Democrat, Republican, and they should be a legislator. And so that's what I do. Um, my job is to represent about 108,000 people that live in the district. Uh, you're right, it's the Northeast corner of Illinois. And we do two primary things. One, we legislate, meaning we write laws we pass laws, we revise things, we look at legislation, we pass a budget for Illinois. So we determine where the money gets spent, um, whether that's on education, the environment, um, law enforcement, you know, we divide up that money. And then we work in our districts and we help provide um, assistance with state services. So for example, during COVID, um, we've had a lot of people struggling to get help with unemployment. You know, there are lots of glitches, so many people applying. So me and my team, we have been helping people iron out those things and make sure they get their unemployment funds. And we help small businesses in the community to get grant funds that they need. And we work with schools to try to figure out their plans. Um, so anything state related, we help people out in the district. And then we go to Springfield and I always say, I bring the voices of 108,000 people from home with me. And when I vote on laws or when I write new laws, that's what I should always be keeping in mind. So it's a big job. Um, I hear your colleague. <laughs> My, I am so sorry. My daughter is, knocking at the door and this is not <laughs> that's okay um, while you do that I'll, I'll just put a plug in for the students uh, just i know the the presidential election gets all the press especially right about now but it's really the the local legislatures legislators that are more involved with the local community and they're making decisions that impact so much of what we do i mean things like you said like local health care transportation um, you know, helping people in need. So it's really important that you are tuned in to what's going on in those local races at election time and what your local legislators like Representative Mason are doing. So uh, what words of encouragement or advice do you have for our students in these strange times? These are strange times. And, um, you know, the best, I, I sort of have two pieces of advice. One, um, you know, just remember that we're all in this together right now during these difficult times. And even though we can't necessarily be with each other physically, we need to find ways to lean on each other and support each other because um, some of us might be doing better than others. And, um, you know, we're all human and we're all here experiencing this together um, and do the right thing for each other too you know, take care of yourself, wear your masks, things like that. And then on a, on a non-COVID sort of perspective, I would say I never dreamed that I would run for office or be a legislator. I actually am uh, pretty shy and didn't expect to be a politician, you know, when you talk about politicians or legislators. And um, when I decided to run a couple of years ago, it was like way out of my comfort zone, um, but I love it. So I would say always, always 
be open to new possibilities, listen to that little voice inside you and truly never say never, like (laughs) be open just because you decide you're going to do one thing. Um, doesn't mean that's it for your whole life. So be open and, um, great things could happen. Yeah. Well, you're doing great things for the community and thank you so much for taking some time and talking with us. And again, students, the the presidential election and all the national stuff is important, but you're not going to see the president walking around town. You're not going to see them at the local (laughs) food pantry or, you know, to come visiting schools and that kind of stuff. You're going to see people like representative Mason. So get to know her, get to know some of the the local leaders who are influencing decisions that affect your everyday life. So this this is a great introduction and good advice and a good example to follow. So students, you know, uh, my tradition in these videos is to embed a trivia question. So your trivia question is to find specific contact information. If you wanted to email or call Representative Mason's office, find that information, email it to me, and I'll enter you into a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And you will know how to contact somebody who is your representative and your advocate. So at any time, if you and your family want to say, hey, we need more of this, or what about this, and less of this in the area, that's what Representative Mason does. She's nice, she's approachable, she's here on Zoom with us. So (laughs) take advantage of those connections, students. So thanks again for spending time with us, Representative. We appreciate you and what you do for the community. Thank you. And I love hearing from you guys. So really call, email. Um, Some of my best laws that I've written came from people right here in the community. So I love it. And by all means, reach out to us if you need any help. Wouldn't that be cool? A new tech student inspiring some new legislation and a new way of doing things. That would be awesome. Yep. So students email me with the contact information specifically for the phone number and email address for Representative Mason's office. That's a trivia question. Be sure to uh, connect with Representative Mason and her office at some point. We love you. We miss you. We're thinking of you and we got your back. So let us know how we can help you new tech students. Talk to you later. Bye.